Greetings. My name is Drew. I'm here with you once again at the Goulet Pen Company. And together, we're going to look at this gorgeous Namiki pen. I am not planning on going full comprehensive on this thing. They really do speak for themselves, and I'm going to more or less allow it to do that. I don't get an opportunity to see these all the time, so when I do, it's very, very special. And I thought you might enjoy it as well. So here we go. Um, this one, like uh, most emperors, comes with the name of the artist, uh, their signature right there, so that you know who did the work. And the work, in this case, is Chinkin artwork. Um, on the Namiki Emperor here, which is their largest model, uh, you'll see it is a dragon done using Chinkin, which is uh, an engraving-based art form. So each little cut, uh, you'll see, look at that. You'll notice that every single one of those is hand etched. Every little dot, every detail, every stroke, every curve done by hand. And then finished off with months worth of Urushi lacquer. It really is uncanny looking at this thing. Every single stroke, the more detailed you get, the more you can appreciate someone painstakingly sitting there for months working on this thing. And that's why they cost what they cost. You're buying a piece of artwork. And as artwork goes, the larger the canvas, the more impressive the art. And there really is no better canvas than the Emperor. This thing is massive. It really is a huge pen. But <laughs> you cannot ask for a better canvas for this incredible piece. I just, it's something else. Simply stunning. Takes a lot to leave me speechless, <laughs> but it really does. And there you go. Um, the nib on these things is also something to behold. Mount Fuji there. And these pens are all eyedropper pens. You fill the barrel itself with ink, and the uh, back section is almost completely hidden. This is just a, uh, uh, this isn't a plunger for a piston, it's just for agitation, but you can really tell that the uh, line almost disappears. It's even more invisible on a pen with uh, more design. It's actually kind of rare you see an emperor that actually is black right here, but the chinkins are always just uh, gold on a black background. Well, the primary chinkins, the actual artwork itself, the chinkin, um, method can be done, you know, any, in any capacity at any time, but the all chinkin pens are generally colored like this. So there's the chinkin dragon, and I've also got here the uh, Rakucho birds, um, and this is, uh, I'm not going to say more traditional because none of these things are, <laughs> I, mean, I guess traditional could be the right word, but this is a makie. Um, so you do have the Arushi lacquer, but then you've got colored lacquer creating designs and patterns. And just like the clear lacquer, each of these is uh, applied over and over and over again, which gives you some really phenomenal texture. Even a clip, which brings a beautiful uniformity to the design. Oh my gosh, look at that. And you've even got some rodden up in the finial there. Oh my gosh. That really is stunning. And again, every one of these, done by hand, every single aspect of this beautiful, beautiful pen. I really can't get enough. Another really cool thing that these pens feature is a lacquered feed. I 
really is something. Months of painstaking work put on this gorgeous canvas, and it'll last a lifetime. The Rushi is incredibly durable, and for something so precious, so one of a kind, that is, you know, the actual process being as delicate as it is, you'd think that uh, a delicate process would create a delicate piece, but really, a Rushi can last quite a long while. They've unearthed uh, Rushi bowls and things like that that are considerably older than the United States. <laughs> so there you have it. That's really all I wanted to do um, is just show these to you because odds are if they fascinate me, they fascinate somebody else out there. Well, that is that. Obviously, we will have these on our product pages with gorgeous photos. I suggest you check them out. Thank you. Have a great day.